Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2, where apparently we have a very slight update. Let's see, Supernova look cooler now, and small improvements. Wow, that was, you know, um, extremely exciting. Let's go ahead and check out these new Supernovas. Um, we'll just plop the sun into the sun. Hello, son. Would you like to speed this up? Boom! Okay, that looks pretty cool. I'm, I'm gonna admit it. That actually looks pretty darn awesome. Um, the the slight slight glitch, slight flashing, but for the most part, this looks pretty excellent. I like it. It looks pretty cool. Oh, uh, look, we're being engulfed by magic. Now they just need to make, like, the nebula persist, and it needs to, like, build stars within it. Start a new solar system. But no, they won't go through the millions of dollars in research and development to do that. Very disappointing. Very disappoint. Oh, it disappeared. Bye. It was nice knowing you, Supernova. We'll see you next time. <clears throat> I wonder if we can make a star supernova in other creative ways. Let's go ahead and get UI Scuddy and see if we put it... Ooh. What if we ripped a star in half? That would actually be an interesting uh, experiment. So let's go ahead and go to motion. We can go to its position, which we can put to zero, zero, and zero. Now we're going to make it not move. So if it moves at all, it'll kill it. Kill it with fire. There we go, position lock on. And now we're going to add two black holes. First, I have to figure out how far to actually put them. <laughs> um, so we will do 100, 100 masses of the sun. 10,000, nah, 1 million masses of the sun. I just have to figure out how far away to put it. So it's, it's actually, I'll just keep adding zeros until it makes sense. Or actually, we can just eyeball it for the most part. We can do this. And now on this black hole, what we can do is we can go to motion, position lock it, and over here. Let's go ahead and make this zero. Make this exactly 67. So this is now in place. Now we're going to put another one down, but we're going to make it negative 67 AU. Start by zeroing everything out. There we go. Negative six, 67 AU. And now these are both an equal distance away from the star, as you can see. And what this is going to do is it's going to exert an equal, extreme amount of uh, force on both sides of the star. What will happen? Will it be interesting? We shall see. So we have started the simulation. Let's check out the star. See if anything interesting is going on here. Let's give it a tiny bit of time. Now we're getting close to real time. Maybe if we go a little bit faster than real time. A little bit more. Do we see anything being pulled off of the star by the black holes? Uh, I do some activity see some activity from Scuddy, but it doesn't appear to be affected by this very much. It doesn't mind the, the black holes near... Oh! There it is. It took a while to get through the center of the uh, star, but it is actually losing mass rather quickly. There we go. So its mass is dropping as it gets ripped apart by the black holes that's a lot of material that's being pulled out we're talking uh, hundreds of Jupiter's worth 
and it's now actually visibly shrinking. It's going to lose the ability to undergo nuclear fusion soon. It's very, very low on mass. Oh, but it seems to be holding on to what's left. Maybe not. It's going back and forth. Oh, and I think we're leaving out at being a gas giant. It looks like now there is just not much left. Not much left to do. It looks like we have successfully uh, ripped it apart. Um, also, that time was kind of ridiculously low. Looks like things are just still now. So, I think we're going to have to try something different. Oh shoot, that's not what I wanted to delete. We wanted to delete this. We're going to modify these black holes to be a little bit more powerful. We're just going to add two zeros to each. <clears throat> Making them 100 times more powerful. We're going to pause. We're going to put another star in the center, but let's do... Hmm... Where's V Y Canis Majoris? Or just Canis Majoris? Oh, there it is. It's right there. I was just looking at it. So that's 17 times the mass of the sun. That's a lot more mass than the last one. It's not quite as big when it comes to diameter, I don't think. But it does have a whole lot of mass. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it to zero. Zero, zero, and we position lock it. So now it's equally between those two, and this should be interesting. Let's slow down time a bit and go. The mass on it seems to be staying steady, at least for the first few seconds. We'll get this up to real time. So. If we speed it up to minutes, do we see anything? Not yet. We speed it up to 15 minutes per second. Nope. Hours per second. I think we're going to start. Yeah. So there is the mass being pulled out of UI Canis Majoris. And will any of it cause it to supernova? That's pretty intense. That's a lot of mass. And it's actually pulling it into a line it's actually going to eject that at a rather high speed unless it hits head on which it might and it looks like it is the black holes are getting some nice uh food i guess they are eating well canis majoris it looks like the particles are spreading out a bit more it is being ripped apart. It's just not quite as exciting as I hoped. I mean, if you put three stars, maybe they would throw their material at each other. and Maybe that would cause. But we're going to have to test that out. So let's delete this one. And let's try this again. But this time we're going to have three. We can do like evenly distributed. So what we'll do is the first one will be, once again, position locked. It will be at zero, zero, zero. The second one will be position locked. And it will be at <clears throat> negative 33 AU zero zero and then we can do 33 AU zero zero and don't forget to position lock that one make sure they're all position locked all good slow down time a bit let's get it to real time and let's go 
So the center one is going to have its mass ripped out and thrown at the two outer ones. The outer ones are closer though, which means that they'll be affected more uh, heavily. So they will still probably be ripped apart. But will there be enough time for the center one to hit them with enough mass to cause a supernova? Because it looks like ripping mass out does not cause supernovas in this. But collisions do. So there we have the two outer ones, which are having a immense amount of material ripped out of them. But here's the material from the center one, which is being pulled directly into the other two. It may not be fast enough, though. It's getting there, but these guys are losing a ton of mass very, very quickly. Will it make it? It looks like it's getting really close, but I think these two are going to collapse before. Oh boy, here it goes, and... Oh, it's being fed, look at that. The mass is going back up. This star is now sacrificing itself to keep the other two stars alive. Now, isn't that an interesting uh, picture right there? <clears throat> the center star is protecting the other two. And it looks like the other two have lost enough mass that they're not being affected as strongly by the black hole. So they may actually survive now. Um, unless one of these goes supernova from the introduction of new gases. But we will see what happens. So looking at this one, it's uh, about one one sun. Yeah, it's it doesn't have much time left. Oh, this this one's losing it. This one is back to losing mass. The other one's going to be soon to follow. These black holes actually do not have the same mass anymore. Um, they've been thrown off a bit from eating material. How long can these stars survive? This is interesting. Whenever they get low, they pull a little bit more from the center star. Oh, that one just stopped nuclear fusion. There goes that. It has lost its shell and now it's just a little gas giant. Which means these two are going to be soon to follow. And there it goes. The center one, however, survived the longest as we expected. And now it's also dead. Looks like everything died in the end. <laughs> that was actually a pretty interesting experiment. Um. I'd like to try that with more on a grander scale, but that would take quite a while to set up. So not in this video, but maybe in the future. Well, no matter what, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this Universe Sandbox 2, and I will see you all next time. Oh, it's so weird having them in like a line like that. Coolness. Bye.